Hello there. The First Minister of Wales, Mark Drakeford, has declared that the UK as we know it is over. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back every day. And a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. And please also check out the two videos on our comedy YouTube channel, Central Broadcast UK, link in the descriptions box below. The Labour Party First Minister of Wales, Mark Drakeford, told the House of Commons Welsh Affairs Committee that the United Kingdom as we know it today is over and that it needed to be radically revamped into some sort of voluntary association of four nations. And just like every other politician in a devolved assembly, he wants the UK Parliament to end its own sovereignty and hand it over to him. In fact, he wants it to be a one-way devolution and forever. He also said... There is no institutional architecture to make the United Kingdom work. It is all ad hoc, random and made up as we go along and I'm afraid that really is not a satisfactory basis to sustain the future of the UK. Well, that's what happens when you start devolving. It just keeps unravelling. Now, he also said at the same time that he doesn't want the UK to break up. But he's also said it should be a voluntary association of four nations. Make of that what you will. I'm not sure he's given it any thought at all. The chair of the committee and former Welsh Secretary Stephen Crabb told Mail Online, Mark Drakeford's vision of a hollowed out United Kingdom held together by the loosest of ties is a blueprint for national division and decline. Federalism is the rallying cry for those who have given up on the Union. Now one point to note is that Mark Drakeford is not winning any friends for his handling of the pandemic. And he also only won his seat in the Senate with 11,381 votes, with the then plied candidate Neil McAvoy right behind him on 10,205 votes. But Neil McAvoy is now the leader of the new Welsh separatist party called Propel. So Drakeford may be trying to take the sting out of the growing support for Welsh independence by hinting he's up for more devolution, but also permanent devolution. But the one problem I have with all of this is that more devolution means more politicians. And all you do is take the power and money off of one politician and hand it to another. And from what I've seen so far, they're all as bad as each other at service delivery. So what do you think about Drakeford's suggestion? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.